Okay, so right here we have it finished our render and it took almost two hours. You can notice the different in render speed when we start using atmospheric. And the reason is why? Because you will use it, which allows very um, natural, very realistic type of atmosphere. So the, all those particles, they're simulating a real um, type of lighting kind of cloud. So it's very volumetric, very re real lighting distribution. Uh, we can do with some brushes, brushes and we can look for the second how we can do this. Um, and just compare what's different. But again, this is very natural, very um, interesting ways looking to control clouds. So let's go ahead and open this image inside the Photoshop. Here we have our image open inside the Photoshop. And you notice a little bit, uh, it's nice, kind of very pastel colors, but doesn't have a sharp contrast details. And again, because this is more working like with illustrations, it's what I like to do. I like bring the sharpness, uh, maybe a little bit more vivid on the colors and maybe work a little bit with the clouds and how says example so let's create one more layer and I'm going to use uh, brushes Photoshop brushes for example clouds just so we can compare so right here okay let me go create one cloud you can see it is kind of a little bit sharp but a little bit out of the way so you can enhance some of these, but they will be stand a little bit more out. Okay, so like right here maybe, but they kind of doesn't even, you can see kind of doesn't even fit a little bit what we have it. So you can find right clouds and if you want it, you can try maybe enhance, maybe add some few of the clouds. But one thing again, if you add a cloud, like example right here we're adding, be sure these clouds, you look for the lights, like lighting going from left to right. And this we actually have from right to left. So we need to go to when you're done with clouds, you want to actually flip them horizontally. So your lighting will be come a little bit more accurate from this point. So let's go say screen for this. And right here, example. Like right here we can enhance but again this is as example and I'm not necessarily like this what I want to do here I want to bring details but I want to bring details inside the clouds so I want to use the edge sharpness I want to use the detail sharpness and to do this we'll go create two layers copy them okay we'll go right here create a new group from the layers Okay, next I'm going to switch this to overlay and I will take top one and switch to vivid light. Okay, on this point I want inverse my vivid light, so control I if I use Photoshop. And nice things right here, let's look on details closer, like this area. Here, what we're we going to do, we go filter and we'll apply actually surface blur to this. And you'll notice how details is increasing right here look on this area example you can see how details start popping up and that's actually what i wanted i want to increase details for all so again um right here you can see okay so let's go to create next one and this one actually i'll create two again i want to add a little bit more to the edge for this i will take one go to the high pass I'll set just one and you can see this is a more detect on the edge and I will switch this to overlay. So with this we have it more right sharpness on the edges. So you can see we kind of pop up brought more details even with all this nice overlay. Okay let's create one more layer and I'll select these layers and merge them together. Control E. Next let's um, adjust with the vibrance okay um we can pop up vibrance a little bit higher and you can see it's actually bring a little bit better colors and saturation again saturation will pop up colors with a higher and vibration with a little bit lower was like higher so we can kind of balancing i think right here you can see the difference so it will increase a bit bring interesting colors to this Okay, next let's go to image adjustment. 
and I want a little bit balanced colors in this. So we'll see if we want to go to cyan more or okay. Let me click on preview, enable. So we can go a little bit red and cyan. One thing what I notice, I like the ground example when it's more yellowish, kind of right here, but sky better than cyan. So for this, let's create two layers. Okay, this one will be our um, atmosphere. So we'll have it image adjustments. We'll go to the color balance. And for the sky, I will go more towards cyan color, maybe bluish. Okay, this is top one. Okay, we'll create mask for this. And I'm just going to um, just slightly right here. Take out some our terrain. A little bit more yellowish right down here. So let's give it a nice color. Okay, well, we have it. You can see our mask. One of the things I want to do, I want to actually blur a little bit more on the edge. So right here, we can preview this edge, how much is blurring. Let's move out. So on this one, it will be our bottom and I want to actually bring this a little bit more to the red so you can okay. again we can preview this as original this with a sky and a bit more color enhancement so we bring a nice um still keeping all these clouds layers but still bring a little bit more colors through um our thing okay of course you can readjust make sure to kind of fit properly okay select all okay the last step i want to add just overall sharpness from the filter just used unsharp mask okay and you can see we can actually pop up quite with sharpness create on this one and this will add more edge sharpness again I'm using this many times when I work with illustrations kind of bring nicely um, image status a little bit up a little bit more when you're printing or other ones so it's just other ways to do it okay let's click OK and right here we have it our terrain done okay this is before post protection and this before and after so you can see we brought a little bit more details, look a little bit interesting. Okay, and again, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.